At the foot of Mayan Volcano stands the premier Dominican University of Bicol. Composed of divisions, colleges, departments, offices, councils, and other bodies whose mandates are aimed to be the leading university in Bicol, we are here to nurture the mind, form the heart, and enrich the spirit of every Legazpi Tomasian with truth, love, and gratitude. Jos Marhay na Aldao sa Indogabos. Join us as we give you our institutional virtual tour here at the University of Santo Tomas Legazpi, the premier Dominican University of Bicol. The USC Legazpi main campus is divided into seven buildings and structures. Upon entering, be warmly welcomed by the statue of St. Thomas Aquinas, who serves as the patron saint of the university, being a Dominican institution of learning. Beside the statue of St. Thomas Aquinas is the most renowned Bicol Study Center that leads in promoting, preserving, and propagating Bicol history and cultural heritage through instruction, research, and extension services. On the foyer stands the image of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, where most of the many spiritual formation of the university is anchored, symbolizing the great devotion of every Tomasian to the Blessed Virgin Mary. On its side is the office of the university registrar. The OUR is the repository of students' school records. It ensures the accuracy, integrity, confidentiality, and security of the students' information and academic records. The registrar is the first office to be visited by all incoming students and one of the offices of the university which is frequently visited by the alumni. The second level of the St. Thomas Aquinas building resides the Office of the Planning and Development that leads and coordinates all efforts towards the attainment of the university's vision, mission, goals and objectives in accordance with a quality management system. Neighboring the OPD is the Educational Technology Center that conducts on-site inspection of information systems to ensure that all management information is protected from any leakage, misuse, destruction, or unauthorized revision. The ETC is also responsible for all information systems and changes therein for effective and efficient performance of functions. Back to the St. Thomas Aquinas Fire is the Administration and Finance Division headed by its division head, the Vice President for Administration and Finance, Reverend Father Edwin A. Lau, OP. This houses the Office of Financial Resources Management, Office of the University Controller, and Cashier. These offices manage the collection of fees and cash position for operation and other expenditure, and processes the assessment and student account balances during enrollment to ensure prompt payment. Going further into St. Thomas Building is the University Bookstore. The bookstore section offers textbooks, uniforms, commemorative items, and school supplies. It also has risograph and photocopiers which cater to the document reproduction needs of students and employees. Together with the bookstore is the purchasing office which provides good quality in terms of supplies and services. Beside the bookstore is the Senior High School Department. The Senior High School extends from the Office of the Principal going to the Senior High School AVR to 17 more classrooms which are fully equipped with projectors, LED TV, and internet connectivity. Other Senior High School classrooms are situated near the Daragang Magayon Hall. Senior High School building is strategically positioned near the covered cart and USD Dome for easy access during student activities. This building is named after the saint and doctor of the church who is known as Albertus Magnus or Saint Albert the Great. Located on the leftmost portion of the university, this edifice shelters the junior high school department including the St. John Masha's Pavilion Hall. The Junior Science High School has the Biology, Chemistry, Physics and Research Laboratories and Robotics Hub, equipped with high-end facilities like the Smart Board for teachers and students to simulate laboratory activities and experimentations for a meaningful learning. The Junior High School Department facilitates the St. Pius Hall, home to the Special Program in the Arts. This edifice houses the Arts Laboratory used for dance, music, and theater programs.
Adjacent to the building is the famous UST Legaspi Dome, home of Growling Tiger athletes and the Legaspi Tomashan artists. The UST Dome also houses the Center for Sports, Wellness, Culture, and the Arts, including its extension, the St. Vincent Ferrer Covered Courts. Beside the UST Legaspi Dome is the College of Engineering, Architecture, and Fine Arts, located at the Fra Angelico Building. Fra Angelico, or the Angelic Brother, is an expert on painting religious subjects. In its vision to be a leading, proficient, dynamic, and sustaining center in its respective fields, the College of Engineering, Architecture, and Fine Arts continues to innovate and improve its academic programs and services. Research and instruction are complemented with up-to-date facilities and adept faculty members. The farthest part of the university is the St. Raymond de Peñafort Convent, which serves as the official residence of our respected and honorable priests, a serene, peaceful dwelling place indeed. Close to it is the UST Legaspi Chapel. Students and employees can access this facility for spiritual pastime and devotion. Bonus is the 180-degree obstruction-free view of the famous Mayon Volcano at the back of it. Big events, institutional activities, and other major events are being held inside the Taragang Magayon Hall, which mean beautiful maiden in the Bicol language. True to its name, visitors can immediately take a glimpse of the Mayon Volcano from here. Beside the Daragang Magayon Hall stands two more offices. These are the Office of Guidance and Testing and the Office of Student Services. The Office of Guidance and Testing provides the students with information and range of experiences that will recognize and develop their full potentials, abilities, interests, and hobbies, including counseling and psychological testing. The Office of Student Services carries out smooth and well-balanced implementation of co-curricular and extracurricular activities for the holistic formation of students and promote effective personal and organizational leadership among them. Now to the center of the university lies its main edifice. This is the St. Dominic de Guzman Building. Known by the huge logo attached to its facade, the St. Dominic Building houses several offices, including the Office of the Rector and President. Here lies the statue of St. Dominic de Guzman, founder of the Order of Friar Preachers or the Dominicans. The University Library and Information Services is entirely located at the second level of the St. Dominic Building. This office consists of the main library, the learning commons, and other services for the whole UST Legaspi academic community. The Media, Alumni, and Public Affairs is a multifaceted office, which is responsible for the university's marketing and promotions, internal and external linkages and networks, media, and community relations, to name a few. Onto the same room is the Office of Research, the center for all research endeavors of the university. With research as an integral part of the trifocal function of the university, the office commits itself to provide quality research support services to students, faculty, and external researchers. Adjacent to it is the Office of the Rector and President, headed by the University Rector and President, Reverend Father Ernesto M. Arceo OP STL PhD. This office holds the highest standards of operational excellence to create an atmosphere most conducive in achieving the vision of the university to be a premier Catholic institution of learning with a deregulated status by 2025. Beside it is the Office of Academic Affairs, headed by the Officer in Charge of Academic Affairs Office, Associate Professor Abelardo G. Beliesa, PhD. This office oversees academic programs and policies, curricular or co-curricular, as well as provision of necessary academic support to the main operational units. On the rightmost side of the St. Dominic Building is the Human Resource Management Office, which enforces policies on the employment terms and conditions pursuant to labor laws. We are here at the St. Martin de Porres Building, a Peruvian friar noted for his kindness, his nursing of the sick, his obedience, and his charity. Located in this building are the remaining offices under the Academic Affairs Division. The Laboratories and Instrumentation Department assists the Academic Department in their laboratory needs in support of their instruction. Through the conduct of actual hands-on laboratory activities, students can enhance what they have learned in lectures. A total of 33 laboratory areas are under the supervision of LID. 
Next is the College of Health Sciences, which accommodates the pioneering program of nursing and the programs of medical technology and pharmacy, the only pharmacy program in Bicol. The College of Health Sciences is now ready for the limited face-to-face -face classes considering the guidelines presented by CHED, DOH, IATF, and LGU. The College of Arts, Sciences, and Education, a reputable leader in teacher education, communications, and liberal arts. College of Arts, Sciences, and Education is also a seat of learning that forms the youth to become artists, scientists, educators, scholars, and leaders who are intellectually and emotionally mature, morally upright, highly skilled, and globally competitive. Further is the Office of Religious Affairs, headed by the Vice President for Religious Affairs, Rev. Father Ramiro M. De Belen, O.P. The Office of Religious Affairs is a reputable office for a quality integral formation of Legazpi Tomasians as an authentic Christ-centered educational community of dedicated witnesses and preachers of truth and love out of gratitude. Beside it is the University Health Services or the University Clinic that aims to enhance the healthcare delivery system of USD Legazpi. The University Clinic is responsible for administering various health programs and innovations for Legazpi Tomasians. Welcoming us with vibrant colors is the preschool and elementary department. Believing that play is a serious business and is an important aspect of a pupil's holistic development, the preschool and elementary has provided a playground equipped with a child-friendly and safe environment where children can enjoy during their playtime and class breaks. Apart from that, the preschool and elementary department is equipped with spacious air-conditioned classrooms complete with audiovisual facilities, science laboratory for scientific inquiry development, home economics to engage the pupils to do their household chores, and children's library to process their reading abilities. The last structures here at the main campus are the buildings of St. Catherine of Siena, St. Rose of Lima, and Blessed Jane Diazza. These three religious personalities guard these buildings which house our offices of supply and property, dormitories, and multimedia instrumentation rooms. Next to it is the Santa Catalina Dormitory. Home to our beloved Dominican nuns, the dormitories can house 26 female and 12 male dormitorians. Dominican Spiritual Formation Program is also offered to our dormitorians. On the farthermost is the Physical Plant and Facilities Management Office. The Physical Plant and Facilities Management Office is a service and support department whose mission is to create state-of-the-art physical facilities responsible for the operation on security, repair and maintenance, and development of all facilities. Let's ride on the university's official vehicle. It's now time to visit the UST Legazpi Peñaranda Campus. On the ground floor of this three-story building is the College of Business, Management, and Accountancy. The College of Business, Management, and Accountancy is a base center in the Pico region in the fields of accountancy, entrepreneurship, finances, marketing, human resource, tourism and hospitality management through excellent business education, research and innovation, and community extension in a deregulated university by 2025. The floor above is dedicated for the College of Law. The USD Legazpi College of Law holds the distinction of being the first and oldest law school in Albay. It produced its first lawyers in 1955 and continues to produce judges and practicing lawyers in both public and private sectors. On the top floor is the Graduate School. As one of the pioneers of graduate education in Bicol, the USD Legazpi Graduate School aims to encourage and guide students who seek career advancement and professional development. It offers a variety of programs, trainings, and certificate courses for adults motivated to strengthen their corporate advantage in a constantly changing world. Aside from education, the University of Santo Tomas Legazpi provides quality health care. This is through the USD Legazpi Hospital that plans, implements, monitors, and evaluates religious and spiritual activities that complement holistic care. 
4 kilometers away from the main university and 3 kilometers away from the Peñaranda campus, the UST Legaspi Hospital. Not everyone knows this, but UST Legaspi has a secret spot. This is the UST Legaspi Peak, located at the top of Legaspi City. It offers a wide panoramic view of the city and serves as a retreat house for its employees and students. In the seven decades of her existence, from Legaspi College, the Aquinas University of Legaspi, to UST Legaspi, tens of thousands of the youth and the young professionals of Bicol have passed through her venerable portals, and many realize their full potential to soar high and soar beyond. Our Legaspi Tomasians surely recall their experiences inside the university. As to our new breed of growling tigers, we cannot wait to see you face to face. May your stay here at UST Legaspi nurture your minds from your heart and enrich your spirits. This is the University of Santo Tomas Legaspi, the premier Dominican University of Bicol. Vita veritatis et amoris ex gratitudine. In a life of truth and love, out of gratitude, we will always remain.